Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I wanted to share my insights as to why TikTok videos get stuck at zero views, whether you're just creating a brand, new account, or you've already been established on the platform. You post a video, you've been there before, hours later, it's not taking off. What do you do? Why does this happen? This has been a common situation I've been observing and more and more recently, it's been happening for a reason that we'll get into later on in this video. But I want to share a few recommendations that could potentially solve this issue that we haven't yet covered. Without further ado, let's talk TikTok. So I think I will break this video down and first we'll talk about why videos are often stacked on average and finally we'll conclude with some practical action steps that you can implement to hopefully resolve this issue if it's something that you're dealing with so at the most basic level there are six fundamental reasons why videos sit at zero views so starting with number one your videos are under review so this is actually a system TikTok implemented a few months back in late 2020 and you can think of it as a system a safety net measure that TikTok implement to screen the videos that new users post or those that continuously have a habit of violating the community guidelines. So if you've just created a new account, you're starting with a blank slate as a new user and you post, don't worry about it. It's just TikTok standard procedure. Again, this idea of a video review is where your video does sit at zero views anywhere between six to often 24 hours. Why TikTok is just scraping it it's analyzing and making sure it's appropriate content. Now this review process, I'll be honest, it's a bit arbitrary at times. The analog that I like to give to describe this is it's kind of a random audit tax. It happens at the worst times and there's a very little rhyme or reason why certain profiles are selected to be subject to video review and others aren't. But I guess you can take assurance in the fact that it's not a bad thing. This is a situation a lot of creators find themselves in in. The second reason why content is often stagnant at zero views because of its poor quality. But there's also something to be said about how your content looks, how your content is lighted, and how it appeals aesthetically to others. In fact, TikTok has been very clear about putting out different resources on their website, talking about proper lighting techniques for photos in videos that are uploaded to the platform. Now, in general, and I do want to stress, don't feel the need or pressured into upgrading your equipment in some way. If you have the budget for that, that's fantastic. I think people will notice that at the end of the day, but everyone, including myself, regardless of what equipment you use, can level up your environment, you can enhance it in some way, shape, or form, even if it's just by 1% of what we did previously. Just be conscious of how well lit and formatted your videos are. The third reason why content is often stagnant at zero views is because the content, the video that you post is duplicated across multiple channels. Oftentimes, the same videos that are downloaded from one pro profile and then re-uploaded to another will be afforded very, very little traction or no traction whatsoever because it's clearly repurposed content. The fourth reason why content is often stagnated at zero views is because you're using a banned device to upload to TikTok. Analysts at TikTok have a system in place to issue what's known as a did ban and this is for those that have blatantly violated TikTok's community guidelines over multiple times with no intention of tuning or toning down their content. The fifth reason why content often doesn't advance beyond zero views is because your content is repurposed, copyrighted content. Now, this point applies primarily to those with meme channels or any sort of compilation based account on TikTok where you're re-uploading, you're repurposing content that you might source elsewhere on the internet. From YouTube, that's one example. And TikTok as a platform, really, especially in 2021, has become much more adamant and scrupulous towards it's limiting what you're actually able to repurpose. Reason number six for a video sitting at zero views 
are restricted keywords. Now on TikTok, I'm sure that we can all agree that objectively there are certain topics that should not be promoted by the platform. Things like suicide, bowling, doxing individuals, and a lot of these, if used in the video captions, the video hashtags, the video text bubbles, or even audio spoken in the video will be picked up by the platform and will not be distributed and those videos will sit at zero views. Now, it's great that TikTok is certainly taking steps to improve the safety and security of its community at large, but there are other topics that TikTok often does restrict and limit that are a little bit more controversial. In nature, I will know a lot of these restricted phrases and keywords often come about because one video simply blows up out of nowhere, sparks a lot of controversy, makes headlines in a negative way, and then TikTok wants to put a stop to all that hate. I find it best as a general rule of thumb if you're going to use a hashtag that you think might be remotely controversial just to search it up on TikTok's discovery page, make sure that there are successful videos actively reaching new viewers with that particular tag. Okay, so we've covered the six reasons why content is often stagnant at zero views. What can you do now? What are your action steps? Well, depending on which of these six you think your account falls into, there are two things that I would recommend. Number one, don't delete the video. There really isn't much of a notable account impact if you receive a video with zero views. It only becomes a real problem if that video is removed for some sort of community violation. And if that happens, of course, you do your best to appeal the video, and if it's not reinstated, then it's just best to delete it. In reality, you go to bed, wake up the next morning, and the video is at a normal threshold of what you would traditionally receive on a video. So it's just a weight game. I know this has been kind of a long-winded answer to such a simple question. So if you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, guys.